Welcome to Fighting Saints Weekly fans, and if you didn't catch it, the Saints are now in second place in the Eastern Conference. Three straight wins, ten wins in conference, points in nine of the last ten. This is an incredible run by the Fighting Saints. Jordan Coons with you, and we got a lot to get to here on the show. But let's just start it off with the good stuff. Right off the bat, you're going to see exactly what happened. The highlights are right here if you click on any of these annotations to take a look at all three wins and all three of them very different games. And then, of course, what the guys had to say, including a four-point effort from Jacob Hammaker on one night alone. He had a lot to say about it as well, and not to mention Alex Steves breaking a season-long goal drought as well. So, heading into this weekend, the Fighting Saints are now in second in the Eastern Conference. They only trail the Chicago Steel by four points. About mid-October, the Saints were about the 500 mark. So, a lot has changed here in the past month, and it's incredible to see the scoring balance. Starting to see the line of Alex Steves, Quinn Prest, and Jacob Hamaker come to the forefront. And not to mention this now 11-game point streak that Zach Solo has put together as well. Really buoying this Fighting Saints offense and making sure it does the job. Jackson Castor leads the league in minutes played. He's also one of the league leaders in wins and just general effort. He's been the workhorse for the Fighting Saints, not to mention Evan Fear picking up his first USHL win. Up next this weekend, two things to get to principally. One is a home and home with the Green Bay Gamblers. Quickly on them, remember we talked about Casey Middlestad ad nauseum here for the past several times the Saints have played him. Well, Casey Middlestad is not with the Gamblers right now. He went home to Eden Prairie High School to play the college, or sorry, the high school circuit out in the uh, state of Minnesota. So he is going to go back there for a little while, and Green Bay will be without him. So he was the leading scorer in the United States Hockey League when he left. Now Green Bay is put in a massive hole in terms of their offense. They've scored five total goals in three games, and four of them came in one game alone. It'll be very difficult for Green Bay to make up the offense, of which he was a big part of the reason why Green Bay's power play is over 30% why they were able to score as many goals as they did, as they were able to win as many games as they did. He was a big reason for that, and Green Bay will miss him dearly. For the Saints against Green Bay, all three games were of the one-goal variety. One on opening night 2-1, military appreciation night 3-2, and then a one nothing blowout on, uh, of course, the next day after. So uh, three one-goal games. It's always interesting between the two teams. It all starts at the Rush Center on Friday. And then, of course, Saturday, our... Teddy Bear Toss Night, along with media partner Super It's 106, have, I rather, bring the stuffed animals, new stuffed animals to the game. And when the Saints score the first goal of the game, let them fly and make sure that we bring over 1,000. 1,000 seems to be the benchmark. Let's get over that point. And this will all benefit Toys for Tots here in the Tri State area. So a great chance to earn your halos and make sure that you help out the community here and make sure that we make it the best it's ever been. Funny tweet, actually, in fact, before we wrap this up, Willie Neerham actually had a chance to drop in on the Twitter side of things and said, hey, you should bring Gordy Green back. Not only did he score the goal that allowed the Bears to fly, but he also scored a hat trick that night. Unfortunately, he's having a pretty darn good season in Miami, and we can't take him back. Sorry, Gordy. So be here on Saturday, 563-583-6880, or online to BeFightingSaints.com. We'll have all the action for you on Super Hits 106 if you can't make it, but we hope you can and make it a great, rowdy atmosphere against the Green Bay Gamblers. This has been Fighting Saints Weekly fans. So long. Jordan Kuhn signing off. We'll talk to you next week.